Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. Thanks for joining me. This is Morning Prayer for Saturday, March 26th. It's Holy Saturday and the scripture for this service, Psalm 88 and Hebrews chapter 4, verse 1 to 16. Please join me in singing the first verse of Were You There? Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Oh, sometimes it causes me to tremble. Tremble, tremble. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. O Most High God of my salvation, bend your ear to me, Psalm 88, and please recite it with me. O Most High God of my salvation, I have cried day and night. Let my prayer come before you. Bend your ear to me. For my soul is full of troubles, and my life draws near its end. I am counted with them that go down into the grave. I am like one who has no strength, lost among the dead, like the slain that lie in the grave, whom you remember no more. They are cut off from your hand. You have laid me in the lowest pit, in darkness, in the deeps. Your anger lies hard upon me, and you have afflicted me with your waves. You have put my friends far from me, and made me an abomination to them. I am imprisoned and cannot escape, and my vision fails me. Daily I have called upon you. I have stretched out my hands to you. Will you work your wonders for the dead? Will the dead rise and praise you? Shall your loving kindness be declared in the grave, or your faithfulness in the land of destruction? Shall your wonders be known in the dark, and your righteousness in the land of forgetfulness? But to you have I cried, my God, and in the morning my prayer comes before you. My God, why do you cast off my soul? Why do you hide your face from me? From my youth I have been afflicted and near death. <clears throat> I suffer your terrors and am distracted. Your fierce wrath goes over me, and your terrors have destroyed me. They surround me daily like a flood. They circle about me together. Lover and companion, you have put far from me, and my companion is darkness. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. O Most High God of my salvation, I have cried day and night. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 4, beginning at verse 1. Therefore, while the promise of entering his rest is still open, let us take care that none of you should seem to have failed to reach it. For indeed the good news came to us just as to them. But the message they heard did not benefit them because they were not united by faith with those who listened. For we who have believed enter that rest just as God has said. As in my anger I swore, they shall not enter my rest, though his works were finished at the foundation of the world. For in one place it speaks about the seventh day as follows, and God rested on the seventh day from all his works. And again in this place it says, they shall not enter my rest, since therefore it remains open for some to enter, 
And those who formerly received the good news failed to enter because of disobedience. Again, he sets a certain day, today, saying that through David, much later, in the words already quoted, Today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts. For if Joshua had given them rest, God would not speak later about another day. So then a Sabbath rest still remains for the people of God, for those who enter God's rest also cease from their labors, as God did from his. Let us, therefore, make every effort to enter that rest, so that no one may fall through such disobedience as theirs. Indeed, the word of God is living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing until it divides soul from spirit, joints from marrow. It is able to judge the thoughts and the intentions of the heart. And before him, no creature is hidden, but all are naked and laid bare to the eyes of the one to whom we must render an account. Since then, we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God. Let us hold fast to our confession, for we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but we have one who in every respect has been tested, as we are, and yet without sin. Let us therefore approach the throne of grace with boldness, so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. Here ends the lesson. And now let us pray for the church and the world. And please respond, hear us, tender God. For the mission of the church, that it may extend the peace and the love of Christ to all people, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For Don and Tom and Richard and Joe and Bill and for all of our church leaders, for all clergy and ministers, that they may be ever faithful servants of your word and sacraments, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For unity in the church, that our scandalous divisions may be healed, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For the poor, the hungry, and the thirsty, for the destitute and the unemployed, that we may share with them the riches of creation and free the world of poverty and famine, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For Barak and Joe and Paul, and for all the leaders of this nation, city, and state, and for the leaders of the nations of the world, that they may bring justice and peace in all the earth, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. We pray. Hear us, tender God. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. <clears throat> Bend your ear to us, dear God, and accept our thanks in the morning. Have compassion on us and save us. For you are the God of our salvation. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen.